right all right let's get it popping get it cracking in this piece what's good fam you know what the vibes is over here this video i'm talk about stop treating women like celebrities all right because if you do that she's gonna treat you like a fan it's guaranteed she's gonna look at you different i'm gonna talk about it listen new to the channel like subscribe comment below do what the button says click the links whatever it is and let's get with it when you hear your family your family we got you don't go away This video we're gonna talk about treating a woman like a celebrity, okay, and why you guys shouldn't do that, right? See, oftentimes in relationships, you know, I get the fact that you know men are providers, right? We're supposed to make sure we facilitate security for a woman, to facilitate, you know, her well-being on a mental, physical, spiritual, emotional, whatever, whatever. But when it comes to, to taking a woman too seriously and giving her too much, um, let's say. Um, attention to the point where she feels like a celebrity or a princess this is a problem guys so oftentimes if you find yourself doing these guys this is going to create more confusion for her and yourself by doing this because you're doing these things and all of a sudden she starts to change her view of you right we're going to get into it so i'm going to give you 10 things to look out for these are red flags guys if you're doing this behavior i want you to stop it a lot of this is conditioning from social conditioning from growing up and People saying, oh, you got to treat a woman this way. You got to do this. You got to do that. You know, the sugar and spice, everything nice. And we go, okay, okay, okay. And the reality is it's it's yes and it's no, right? It's more spice than sugar, vice versa. Depends on who you are and, and where you are as far as your knowledge of, of who you are and what you're doing and who you're trying to affiliate with, right? So we're going to talk about that and clear some things up. So if you get these red flags, guys, just know, check your list, okay? If something is coming up, you go, oh, I do that. That's no, that's okay. That's okay. That's okay. Check yourself. Make sure you're not doing it too much. There's a right way to do it and a wrong way to do it. Let's go. Texting. Texting too much. Morning text. Afternoon text. Evening text. Throughout the day, checking in with her, constantly checking in, okay? Listen, you want to do a morning text, that's fine. But the idea here is you you keep reminding her, hey, there's someone here that cares about you. Hey, I'm thinking about you. I'm thinking about you. I'm thinking about you. Now, she's at work or she's out doing uh, off work, doing her thing, out with her friends, whatever. But if she's at work and, 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 she, and you know exactly where she's at, there's no need to keep texting her, right? How can she miss you if you're constantly blowing her phone up? Hey, it's me. I'm here. I'm thinking about you. And sure, I get the fact that you want her to think of, of you in a good light. You're a good guy. You're always, she's always on your mind and all that. That's great. But if you keep telling her that, she never gets the chance to wonder. You see, when a woman wonders about what you're doing, wondering about where you are, your thoughts are with her, right? She's thinking about you all the time. If she's thinking about you, she's got to long, starts to miss you, longing to see you again. I wonder how he's doing. I need to give him a call. I want to see how he's doing. Da, 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 da. So texting, guys, if you do a morning text, you leave it out there, right? It's a trade-off, right? When she has time, she'll get back to you. But it's a trade-off, right? I send one, she sends one. See, that's how it works. So I'm not telling you not to send a morning text, whatever, do what you will. But I'm telling you, if you keep sending a text, morning, this, that, she's responding, oh, thank you, oh, yes, oh, this. After a while, she's going to stop responding right away. And then you'll realize that she's starting to pull back a little bit because it's becoming mundane. It's over and over again. Listen, you don't have to validate yourself all day long with women. You are good enough. But if you're a scarcity mindset, you're not going to see that. So try to avoid sending multiple texts, one, and you wait for one to come back. That's how it works. Friends. Change who you are because her friends her friends don't like your friends or she doesn't like your friends that you hang out with. So what you start doing is start to, start to pull back from your friends because she doesn't like those kind of guys that you're hanging out with because maybe they're out, maybe they're single, maybe they just do, live a different lifestyle that you used to live when you met her. If you met her out and about with your friends, all of a sudden now she doesn't want you with those friends because of who she saw you as or who she thinks you were, you don't have to stop seeing your friends. A lot of guys, a lot of guys do. A lot of guys pull back and they get into their girl, leave their friends out and all that. That's fine. 
But let those let yourself let yourself have room. Give yourself room to realize, you know what? You know, I can have my friends. I can be with her too. I don't need to let go of my friends. If you care about me, you I'm the concern. My friends aren't the concern, right? When I'm with you and we're sharing space, that's what it is, right? You're not telling her about her friends, but when you have this mindset, treat like a celebrity, you let your friends go because it makes her happy. And you do that, it makes you look weak. Because why? You're not standing on your own principles. Now, she won't say nothing because, see, chances are, women like this, they're either they're narcissistic, drama queens, and they love the attention and the dominance. Now, if the one is going to backfire, we'll get to that in a minute. But just keep those things, those three things in mind. Those, those that's the that's the that's the trifecta right there: narcissistic, drama queen, right, and the thirsty for validation, right. Those are the three, and, and the dominant, the dominant uh, need for validation. And when she gets all those three things, a lot of times women like this like to be in control, right. But we'll get to the downfall of that in a minute. But see, when guys behave this way, she's happy. So if she's happy, he feels he's doing the right thing, which is the wrong thing. But we'll get to it. Next one. Constantly checking in with her. If you're out on a date or you're in the car, you're driving somewhere, you're constantly, if she's quiet for a minute, you're constantly checking in with her. Hey, you okay? Are you all right? You know, how you feeling? She goes, I'm fine. You know, she's on the phone and she ignores you. Ignoring you is painful. If, ignoring her, if she's not talking to you or giving you her attention the way you give her attention, it's painful. You feel you put work in and make sure that her energy is up, that she is happy, that she gets the battery in her back. You got to keep filling her up with emotions. You don't have to do that over and over again, right? That's because of not being enough, not feeling you have enough just by your own presence alone. And you got to realize that your presence alone is enough. The masculine energy and the masculine presence for her, the core of your masculine alpha should be enough. She should be resonant with that, soaking it in, sponging it up while she's doing her thing, while she's looking out the window, while she's, you know, texting her friends, playing a game, whatever she's doing on the phone or talking to you, looking out the window. It doesn't matter, but she should be enjoying the essence of where you, they are, you guys are as a group, sharing the energy, the masculine and feminine energy. But you don't have the masculine, the masculine confidence. You're going to feel that type of way. Check in with her. Are you okay? You still with me? Still here? <laughs> Don't do that. It's very secure and it shows lack of confidence. Don't do it. Constantly gifting flowers, cards, bring it, writing letters for her, uh, putting stuff. You know, it, those stuff. that stuff is nice. And, and once in a while, all these things here that we're talking about is once in a while, guys. Once in a blue moon. You don't need to do this every day. Uh, think about it. If you give a woman... I don't care if it's baguettes, right? You bring up a baguette first day, bang, you're going out, boom. She goes to her door, bing bong, day of the date. And if you take her out, you get her a baguette, diamond. You know, she goes, wow, this is crazy. I, I, do you accept my diamond, isn't it? You know, a lot of guys have money, guys. A lot of these simps have lots of money, too. They're not all poor. They, a lot of these guys are simps. I mean, I'm looking for those guys because they're great providers, great provider males. So... This applies to anybody. This is all walks of life. They come in sims, sims and provide the males. They come in all packages, right? All sizes. So all, all denominations of money. Okay, money is irrelevant. The fact that you, the behavior is what we're talking about, right? So someone that can't afford this money is not a big deal to them. It's a big deal to her, but not to the guy providing the, the, the diamonds. So the idea here, though, can imagine... If you, today you gave her a diamond, tomorrow you bought her some earrings that are diamond. Next day you bought her a bracelet that's down. Next the fifth day, something else. Sixth day, something. The first day she's going to say, oh, wow, this is great. She's going to phone with her friends. Can you believe this? You're not going to believe this. Sit down. Are you sitting down for this? Yeah, I got this. I got a diamond. This and that. Boom, boom, boom. It's crazy. You don't believe it. Da, da, da. So she's going to say her friends are going, oh, wow, I can't believe it. You found me. Is any friends? Da, 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 da. The whole nonsense, right? She could throw that. Get the phone. She's going to feel great. Oh, my goodness. They're going to call her mom. Ba, ba, ba. First day, second day. Oh, you know what? I got another. I got a bracelet this time. I can't believe it. This guy is out of, out of this world. The friends will say, "Wow, really? Wow, the bracelet. Oh, what's next? I can't believe it. I can't wait to see what's next." Da, 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 da. Boom. The phone calls get lower and lower and lower. Now she gets tired. She's not gonna call anybody. And after the fourth day, fifth day, she's got earrings, bracelet, shoes, a bag, 
uh, whenever you do that, you know, you guys, you know, these guys can afford it. They buy it. It's not a big deal. It's a gesture that they like them. They're showing that how they like them by making them, giving them gifts. See, that doesn't work. Okay. It, what happens with this, again, you treat like a celebrity. She expects it after a while, but she expects it, but she's not excited about it. See, and then what happens after a month or two down the road, you know, because you're giving the gifts now. Oh, just put it over there. The guy comes to the door, the mail, the FedEx guy or the app, uh, the, the UPS guy comes, knocks on the door, Amazon guy, whatever, delivery guy knocks on the door with the package. She goes, oh, and he goes, you want to sign here? Boom, boom. Oh, so I know what this is. It's probably a diamond or something. She throws on a pile of the other stuff there. It's all piled up. Maybe open it anymore. It's like giving to her friends or whatever. So it becomes mundane. It's un ineffective for her, unimpressive. And it just shows how much you need her. It blows her head up. It puts her head in a whole other stratosphere, guys. And you'll need to do more to make her happy. So don't get caught up in this bowl right here and giving her gifts and that. These gifts are reserved for the ones that deserve. Don't give it to someone you just met. First date. If you're dating someone, they don't deserve gifts, guys. You don't give them gifts. Give them the gift of your presence. Give them the gift of your masculine presence and your energy. The gift of your time and your company. That's plenty. That's worth a fortune. <laughs> so let that be what it is. Where guys don't have confidence. Again, these guys don't feel that they're enough. They got to overcompensate. Don't be one of those guys. Women, read this bell. They read this bell loud and clear. You know, they know exactly what it is. And they're going to look down on you. And the minute you stop doing it, eh, I see you as a friend. And you become a friend. Do friends on you and they're out. Because the guy didn't need over here. All the stuff is fulfilled. Okay, you've done too many things on the external side and not reached her on the internal side, right? You didn't reach inside of her. You only reached from the outside, giving her things, making her feel happy. So don't do that and make that mistake. A lot of guys will do that. If you're doing it now, stop it, guys. You don't need to do that. You have, you have enough in you, okay? You have enough in you, your presence alone. Like I said, you're enough just to be in the presence. That's the gift enough. You guys have a disagreement or uh, there's a mis 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 connection, a misinterpretation of communication. And I, I wanted you to come over here at five. It's seven o'clock. What happened to you? And, and oh, and, and you take the blame. It's all my fault. You know, I, I know you said that, uh, you know, to be here at seven o'clock is what we agreed upon. But I, I, I said, no, I, I said, I'd rather change my mind. I, you know, I, I just felt it was better to come this time, you know. Oh, taking the blame. For something you know you didn't do wrong and she was in the wrong and you still take the blame for it guys stop apologizing for his behavior stop apologizing for her mistakes all right let her own her mistakes let her be be acknowledge what she's doing wrong because if she's never acknowledged what she does wrong guys how can you guys move forward in correction right the correction will always be on your part and you always be the one to blame yourself don't do this behavior this is self-deprecating behavior and what happens to the psyche when you do that it stacks and piles upon the self-belief and you create a system of believing that you're not enough you know you're going to be enough and why is she with me why does she you know i there's a lot of celebrities, celebrities that do this right now matter of fact i won't say his name but there's um but they're self-deprecating that stuff works for a little bit after a while guys when they get tired of that because they have to prop you up now so you know you know taking the blame and no standing your own two feet guys if you're right you're right Stay with, stay strong to your beliefs. Stick to your boundaries and your standards, guys. A man without standards is not standing at all. All right, gems, man. These are gems for you right here. But again, it's still to the fact and the point that you stand on your ground. If you're right, stay in the right. Let her know, no, no. This is what happened here, right? And it's not a big deal. But let's be clear. Let's be clear. This is what it was. This, this, and that. Here's your text. Look, bang. She sees the text and you move on. This way, she gains respect for you because you stop respecting your, you start respecting yourself now. You stop deprecating yourself. You stop self-deprecating and looking down at yourself. You stop respecting yourself, and she will too. She'll have to. She'll have to. Over celebrating, like gifting. Now, this is a celebration. You're making a big deal about maybe you have an anniversary. Everything's an anniversary. Hey, it's three months. You texted her or, or, or whatever at work. Good morning. Happy three month, two days, and, and 16 hour anniversary. Hey, happy four months, 17 days, and two hour anniversary. Hey, happy six, happy five months. She's going to say, you know, and you, you have flowers. 
She comes home, there's candles on the table. There's, there's petals. One holiday, one celebration of the anniversary is that there's, there's petals leading to the bedroom. You know, all these little things here. Is, it, these are the things you want to avoid, guys, right? It's not necessary, right? The, the anniversary thing is done too much. You play it up too much. You know why? Guys want to get a spike. You want to get a spike in her emotions. They go, oh, oh, wow, you're so thoughtful. I'm thoughtful. I miss them now. Let her. There's other ways to be thoughtful, guys. In other words, you know, being on your purpose, your mission, thinking about the whole nucleus of the perk of the of the of the relationship by being strong, being her strength, and not a fan because she's gonna treat you like a fan. Whatever you're doing is going to mean less to her. You gotta understand these things make her look down upon you as if you are doing too much. And when you do this too much, guys, it gives, it makes her, it reads to her that, you know what? Maybe he's not that confident. You know, maybe I should think twice about where his confidence level is. Because if you're not confident, a woman can't love a guy that's not confident. She could be friends with you, but she can't love you. So always watch out for that because you want to stay confident. Stand on your two grounds. If, you, if you're right, you're right gifting and all the anniversaries and all that let her bring that up let it be her idea it's great to know it. if you can remember fine but you know let her remind you then you say oh you know what let's have a drink let's do this let's do that because it's her idea she brings it up then you respond in kind oh you know it's our so-and-so anniversary Where? i thought you would never know let's do this we'll go there we'll get a drink let's go here let's go there bottom line simple small thing Pick a glass, have a drink at home, whatever. Done, right? You don't have to bring it up. She let her bring it up. She does. Then you respond, like I said, in kind. Her mood affects your mood. In other words, she brightens your day. Your day is mundane without her. You're low in the dumps. You don't have the energy. She sparks you up, and she gets you going, right? So if you have a, if your if your day is so so, right? Haven't heard from her, you get depressed. Right, hear from her, you're happy. See, this, 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 this woman can't be the center of your happiness. She doesn't want to be the center of your happiness unless she's the three women I mentioned: narcissistic, drama queen, and uh, attention. Right, attention, attention, receiving, and all that. Those, but those are the things that she's gonna that control and dominate. But those are the things that she wants. Anyway, so that doesn't make her like you more. She controls your emotional state, right? Your emotional well-being. This is a bad place to be, guys. In other words, if you're out and let's say you're, well, even at home, you're at dinner at the table and you're just having after work and she's home at the table. You're sitting there with her. You're having dinner and, you know, you're, you're giddy. Because she's home now, right? You waited all day for her. And she, she's finally home. You, you couldn't wait to see her. You, you, you thought about her all day long, and now you're, you're giggling, right? You, you know, you're smiling and giggling, right? And she looks at you and goes, what's the matter? He goes, nothing. I just <laughs> giggle. I'm just being funny. I'm just happy. Because she makes you happy. Chances are, with this behavior, she's going to say, well, 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 why, why is He's so happy. You, you, know, you shouldn't be giggling and, and her making you happy. Listen, it's fun to share and laugh. It's fun to laugh together. But if you're giggling like a schoolgirl and she's making you, because she's making you feel that way, making you feel silly, you lack masculine maturity, right? You have to grit, you have to grab the sack. You have to grab your nuts and, and man up. This is not, you know, you being her emotion should not control how you feel. So she has a bad day, so you walk around sad as well. You apologize all day long. I'm sorry about you having a bad day. Now I have a bad day too. I'm down in the dumps too. No, she needs someone that's strong to pick her up when she's down. She needs a rock to listen, just to be there when she can pour her poor feelings out. But if you're sharing her emotion, that's a feminine quality. She's down, you're down. She's up, you're up. How are you helping her? Friends do that. Hell, even the friends will jump in and try to cheer her up. So you're emotionally flaccid. And being emotionally flaccid like this, you just go with the flow and you're, you're really just, you know, you're not helping, you're just there, right? So you're not you're not bringing any value to her. And, if she, and you're happy because she's happy. Again, 
A man stands on his own too. He feels what he feels when he wants to feel it. But you need to, you need to grab that masculine core, that masculinity that, that is deep down inside somewhere. You're losing it, but you better grab it up quickly and maintain your masculine maturity. You need that emotional maturity, period. Even if, if you think you don't need it, she needs it from you. Be that, do that. You plan a day around her. If the weekend comes up, you've got a whole itinerary set up for her, for her, for her to do things and, and, and get things done for her. In other words, you know her routine. You know her schedule on the Saturday. You get her up Saturday morning. You, you oh, let's get up. You know, let's go take you to get her. Let's go take her to get her hair done, her hair, her nails done. Then after that, you guys got to go do shopping. You know, go get some clothes for her. Then after that, you're going to go get the food. And then after that, you're going to, you know, uh, I don't know, let her go to a masseuse to get a massage. You know, all these things around her day. You put your whole day aside. Your weekend's your weekend too, but you put it aside to pamper, right? And that's okay, again, if it's a wife and maybe you're hitting yourself an anniversary. Maybe it's been 10 years, 20, or oh, five or something, and you've been through a lot. Sure, you pamper her. You guys do it together or whatever. Pampering is reserved when you're exclusive, long-term, LTR, and marriage. And that's done, again, sparingly. You're always making sure she's entertained. You find things for her to do. Now, we're going to do this. We're doing that. What do you want to do today? What else do you want to do? Asking her what she wants to do, right? So what one needs for you to do is be make a decision, right? Entertain her with your mystery. Entertain her with your spontaneity. See, when you're doing this, what you're doing, asking her what to oh, do here, what to do that, let's do that. She is, it's, it's not as effective for her. So she, and she does what you say. Oh, let's go to the movies and this and that. I got this plan, I got that plan. I want to do this, I want to do that. And, you know, this is all to entertain her, to make her happy, to keep her uh, spirits high so she doesn't look at you like, why am I with you, right? This is what guys do when they don't feel like they're enough. They're always doing song and dance, and silence is the killer for them because they don't have the masculine core. When he needs to know, instead, what they should be doing is realizing their presence is enough. Silence is enough. That, that quiet air builds sexual tension. It's, it gives presence to the two people sharing that energy when you hold the frame right, when you're holding that alpha frame, the presence alone, the silence. You just be and let her create the entertainment. Let her inject conversation. Let her spark up the relationship. You doing everything, pulling all the weight, it's all one-sided. It's annoying, it's mundane, it's it's try hard, all these it's needy, all these vibes are negative frequencies, and she's gonna pick up on all that stuff. And you'll be you really will be a friend because she can't, you know, really love somebody that you I feel like a friend, you're gonna be a friend, a celebrity, a number one fan. You know. Celebrities don't get with their fans. Right? That's the first rule. Last one, scarcity mindset. The fish is gonna really see you for who you are. An empty shell of a man on the inside because you're doing too many things. That will distract her from looking you straight in the eyes and seeing what's there, right? To see where the where the where the the, the core of, of who you are, right? Your your beliefs and, and what made you your values. If it's lacking and it's all external, all these little tricks and toys and behaviors, they come out very crystal clear to women and they decide this is not a match. You know, great for friendship, but not for anything more than friendship because she doesn't want to create more weak men that behave this way because it wouldn't carry the gene pool forward. She knows that innately. Whether she has kids or not, she knows that deep down. This is why it's a natural biological turnoff. So you want to avoid that and being read off in that light when it's not really what you are. So the fact of not knowing, now that you know, you change that. You stay on your purpose and your mission in life. You stay driven, stay focused. Listen, guys, when you hear your family, like, subscribe, comment below. Bring your family, your family, you know I got you. XO and I'm out.